Hi guys, my name is Mika, and here on my channel I do fragrance reviews. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I will be going over my May tray. I'm doing the tray again. I kind of slacked off and stopped doing it, but I want to pick it back up. And so today I have 10 spring fragrances for my May tray. And without further ado, let's go on and get started. So my very first one is a fragrance that was on my wish list and I did get it. And this is For Her Musk Nude by Narciso Rodriguez. This here is a softer version of the Narciso Rodriguez For Her line. This was created by Sonia Constant. This was created to blend so naturally with the skin and I must say they nailed it with this one. It has a magnificent second skin quality. This is my second favorite from this line. Um, second from the uh, number one, which is Narciso Rodriguez Rose. It's just a beautiful, jasmine, clean, musky fragrance. It's worthy of being a signature scent. I love this. It lasts for me about eight plus hours and I love the gorgeous opening. So that's for Her Musk Nude by Narciso Rodriguez. This is Jardin de l'Orange by Dres Van Noten. This is a lovely floral woody musky fragrance for men and women. It's an orange creamsicle. I get the orange blossom and the milkiness. Um, it has a milk note and I love the sandalwood in here. It also has the ylang, ylang that gives it a slight sweetness. I love the bright opening. I wish that opening was throughout the wear of this fragrance. And it just puts me in a very jubilant mood. I love this one. Once again, this is an orange sickle in a bottle. This next one is Scratching My Itch for Peach. I have two peach fragrances in this lineup and this one here is Cassily by Parfums de Marling. This is just a juicy and fruity amber floral. It's a love for me in the spring. I love wearing this in the spring. It is one of Parfums de Marly's most underrated fragrance in their line and I feel it should get more of the spotlight. Don't get me wrong, I love Delina, but sometimes Delina is a little overrated and I just love wearing Cassily. It should get more shine. It's the most beautiful peach fragrance in my collection. One of the most beautiful peach fragrances in my collection. The color of the bottle just matches this fragrance. It is gorgeous. This next one is another all-time favorite. It is Gardenia by Chanel. This is a gorgeous white floral bouquet. It is an elegant and luxurious fragrance to me. It's perfect for special occasions. We have Gardenia all around our front yard and it is the most, the most hypnotizing fragranced flower. I love it. It makes our yard smell so beautiful. And this fragrance is just so realistic. It's, um, it smells just like the flower. I can't stop smelling my wrist when I'm wearing this fragrance. It is just absolutely beautiful. This next one is new to me. And because of this one, I am going to do a video on Rice Note fragrances. And this here is... La Papier by Diptyque. This is one of my first fragrances from this house. I really have not dipped my toes in Diptyque very much, only because I've heard of the longevity not being as good. Um, but this fragrance has really changed my mind about Diptyque. This is a cozy and intimate fragrance. It goes with the mood that I've been feeling lately, which is just less is more and it is just an inoffensive light musk 
It's great for this time of season. It's nice and clean. I feel so fresh. It just smells like a brand new pack of paper. So just picture a ream of paper and you fan the paper and you get the whiffs of how that paper smells. And that's what this fragrance smells like. It projects and lasts on me. I get about eight plus hours with this. Even when I think that it's gone, I still get wafts of this fragrance throughout the wear. I smell nice when I'm wearing it. It's just so clean. It's not heavily fragranted. It doesn't smell like a perfume counter. If you like another 13, you may like this one. There is that distinctive rice note that adds the nuttiness, the warmth that I love in this fragrance. And that is the most comforting note to me. So again, this is Le Papier by Diptyque. This next one I pulled out because we have been getting a lot of humidity in Atlanta lately. And this here is Vibrato by Suspiro. This is a very long lasting fresh and citrusy unisex scent. I love pulling this out when it is so humid and that's what we've been getting here in Atlanta lately is a lot of humidity. Our temperatures have been 60 to 80 but that humidity just um, just makes me feel sticky and this fragrance makes me feel clean although it's humid outside it's a very ginger forward fragrance on me with a hint of florals the florals is in the background it's a wonderful option for spring and summer you just can't go wrong with this fragrance for projection i would give this a 10 for sillage and longevity, a 10. It is just a mouth-watering option. And I get that from the grapefruit and the bergamot. Once again, this is Vibrato by Suspiro. This next one is an all-time favorite. I love this fragrance. This here is Greenwich Village by Bond Number no. 9. I do have a tester bottle. This is a great amber floral beauty that will grant you so many compliments. Compliments galore. It's a light musky floral gourmand. It's not too sweet, but a light, a light sweetness for the spring. That's why it makes it so great for spring, especially for the gourmand lovers. It's long lasting on my skin. I get 10 plus hours with this. It gives you that Baccarat 540 vibe slightly but i think baccarat 540 is sweeter this opens with a refreshing opening from the citrus and it has a fruity sweetness and airy quality it lasts so long on my skin i actually wore it last night and i can still smell it this morning again this is greenwich village by bond number no. nine and another fragrance I told you I've been going through a peach phase lately and this here is La Nuit Trésor Nude by Lancome and the notes are bergamot, rose, vanilla, and coconut but I smell so much peach in this fragrance. It's just a floral fragrance that makes you feel so sophisticated. It's great for the office. I like the coconut while it's um, not too beachy, the coconut just gives it a great, a great ambiance. It just gives you the tropical vibes without being too heavy. And this next one is a fragrance that I am testing out. And I love this so far, but I'll tell you what my butt is later. And this here is... Castling by Mind Games, and this is a 10 milliliter by Royalty Scents. Not sponsored by them, but I do have a subscription. And Castling is such a pleasing fragrance that smells of earthy woodness. Um, I love the fresh fig leaf. It's the the fig leaf, not the fig, but the leaf. The iris and the lotus in here is nice. It's beautiful in the dry down. 
The projection is strong in the opening, but then it just becomes like an intimate scent on me. It's just so serene, but still stands out from the notes. I do think the notes are rather um, distinct. That makes it stand out. But it's just a... It's just an intimate, calming, serene fragrance. And I don't think I'll be getting a bottle of this, mainly because it smells so much like Suntel complete to me and for that reason I don't think that I need the duplication in my collection it's the same type of feeling it's the um, same vibe and it also has the intimacy that um, Suntel complete gives me it still stands out it's gorgeous um, like I said I really like the fresh fig leaf note in here but it's just too much like Santel Complet to my nose. Um, but it is gorgeous. I wanted to dabble into the House of Mind games. And I think so far they are a house that has great quality. And I will try some more of their fragrances. Yeah, this here is my May lineup. And so I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know what are some fragrances that you will be wearing this May. All right, guys. Bye-bye.